everybody and welcome back to the Council of the Universe. My name is Weeva and we are here with a few tips that I wish people would have told me when I started this game and this is definitely stuff that you need to mention to your new friends who start playing League and uh, yeah, it'll make their lives easier. <laughs> Alright, so this video is basically going to go over a few things that you definitely need to let your friends know. Uh, some of these things are going to be things like changing your HUD size, uh, dis not disabling your sound so that you can hear things because I knew people from MMOs who decided that they needed to just listen to their music and they would disable the music and the sound in games. I don't know why. Uh, skill timers, timestamps, leaving your all chat off, which is huge. Um, champion only key, how to set it, what it's used for, smart casts if you decide to, and how to disable your attack move on shift, and finally attacking the nearest my cursor. So, all those. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your, uh, your options interface, and you're going to see right at the top it says interface size. You're going to readjust that and slide it down to wherever you feel it's comfortable. Um, some people leave it at one, some people have it in the 80s, it's really up to you. Now I know some people might say, you know, hey, you need to see all these things, you need to be able to see your spell timers, you need to be able to see uh, your health bar larger, your mana, all these other things. I mean, you don't need it to be 100%. Once you start to get used to the game and you can easily see your cooldowns, there's no reason for you to have a 100 sized HUD scaling. So the next thing you're going to want to do is readjust your sound volume. Some people like to turn it all the way down. Some people like to turn it completely off. Do not do this. Specific abilities have sound cues that are very important to be able to hear. Things like flash, if you don't see it, recalls, stuff like that are all common things that you need to be able to hear even if you can't see them. Teleports, you might hear before they actually come in or you see them on your screen. Especially as a new player, you need to be getting all of this data, so leaving your sound on and prioritizing it over your music, even the in-game music, is probably a priority for you. So there's three things in this gameplay option. One, auto attack. Two, attack move on cursor. And three, treat target champions only as a toggle. The first one, auto attack, is going to auto attack anything that's near you as long as you're not moving. This is good to keep on if you're standing in a brush, say in bot lane, and minions are walking past and you don't know if a brush is warded. If it happens to be warded, you'll auto attack the minions as they pass because they have vision of you. The second one, attack move on cursor. If you happen to misclick a champion you're trying to attack, it will attack that champion as long as it's the closest thing towards your mouse. However, if you have it disabled and you misclick that champion, it's going to attack the closest thing that's near your champion. And lastly, third, target champions only toggle. If you hold the tilde key, it'll turn your mouse cursor red. This means that only champions can be targeted while this is on. However, if you want to make it so that it's toggle and you could toggle it on and off instead of having to hold the key, this is your option. If you've ever seen someone tower dive and they misclick a turret, this is the thing to go for. So the next thing we're going to address is how to turn on your smart cast or your quick cast on all your hotkeys. You can change them individually, but there's a simple button right inside your hotkeys at the top. It says quick cast all. You can click that. So when you turn on quick cast, instead of seeing this indicator, you're actually not going to see anything and you're going to be able to quick cast, literally, cast the ability faster than you normally would without two confirmations. Now if I quick cast, it's an immediate cast. This is going to make your skills come out faster and your reaction time is a lot better. Now there are going to be some abilities that you aren't going to want to smart cast. Things like Rumble Ultimate or Bard's Magical Journey are... You need clear indicators in order to know where they're going most of the time, especially when you're learning the champions. Also in your hotkeys options, you'll be able to see where you can find your attack move that's set to your shift key. You might want to turn this off if you're someone who uses shift to smart cast. I do. It was a habit I developed when I started the game and I've always done it, so I remove that so I don't attack move on accident and hit minions instead of casting my ability or um, if I have an on hit. So the next very important thing we're going to do is turning on timestamps. 
This is found in your options interface as well. If you scroll all the way down, these are important so that you know when someone pinged something, uh, when a such a flash was used, when the dragon actually died, even though now we have timers and it's not the early seasons where junglers are tracking all this data. But it's very important that you can know when something was pinged, when someone called for something. Uh, it's good for macro play. The next thing is all chat. Don't bother turning it on. It's not helpful. It's literally asking to be CC'd IRL. You are not going to contribute anything to your team by having it on. Do I have it on? Yes, because it's hilarious. However, if you cannot resist talking back to other players and wasting your own time instead of actually effectively putting time into the game and helping your team, don't bother. Especially as a new player or when you're teaching someone how to play the game, all chat is little for them to worry about. They don't need to hear what other players are saying about them or about their performance. It's just going to get in their head and it's going to make them play even worse. Don't worry about turning on all chat. I can literally count on one hand how many times I've had someone from the enemy team compliment a play I was making. It's literally like opening the door for someone to punch you in the face. Don't do it. So the next and final thing I want to address is playing with a lock screen. Now, if you're playing with a lock screen, I know some people think it's comfortable. I started playing like that because I really, I played RTS, but not really in the way that many did. And I was not familiar with having to pan my screen and my map all the time. However, if this is something you can get adjusted to, it will increase your map awareness and your awareness in games in general. But if you watch this example of when you're running towards a fight, especially, you're able to plan out what you want to do, who's there, you can see where you shouldn't be running. And if you have a locked screen, even in this example where I have Caitlyn, you can't even use your ultimate because you won't be able to see who's there at the max range of your ultimate. So there are several abilities that you'd need to be able to see further than just around your champion to use them effectively in a fight. So one of the best things you can do when you're teaching a new player is get them used to playing without a locked screen immediately. If they start off this game and they're 100% fresh, get them playing without a lock screen. It will do them wonders and they won't have that learning gap when they have to translate their skills from playing with a lock screen to playing without one. And they're going to go through this period of time of maybe about a week or so where they're just really bad because they're not used to doing it. And at this time, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, please don't forget to share it, like, and subscribe. I do stream five days a week on Twitch, link in the description below. We do have a growing community. It is a learning community. League of Legends with a variety personality. And until next time, remember, the power is yours. I'll see you in the next video. Can I just seal this from them? I mean, I, I see so. them. I see them seeing me. Oh, they definitely see this. Yeah, they... Ah, I gotta go. I'm too low. Mine! See ya! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh! 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 I'm away! I'm away! I'm away! Oh! I'm out! I'm out! <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god! Oh no! Bye. No! Oh, you guys are crazy! We you got guys out. good? Trading one for one? What are you doing? Are you what are you, are you doing? Warwick! Warwick! <laughs> <laughs> Woo!